Have you ever tried to solve a pyramid? What actually seems pretty hard is quite simple. Here, let me show you. Okay, so there's a two-step process for solving this. All you, the first step is to get the corners and the middle pieces in together. It's right there. So I'm gonna do this with the blue. And there is a black corner, but that is blue, just to let you know. So what I wanna do is I wanna get the blue corners all within one thing. So blue, blue, blue. So what I do is I look around for any blues that I might be able to see. Oh, there's a blue. And there's my original blue. So I can just either turn this up and get that there. And now I have to look around for the other blue, which is a black triangle, which is right there. Spin that over. Now it doesn't always come that easily. Sometimes it's not the right side, but that just happened to go like that. Anyways, um, but it's really easy to fix it. All you have to do is just uh, find the yellows or the blues or the reds or the greens in a different location. And it does not matter which ones you start with. So now that we have the blues, you want to turn it and look. Okay, so we have the blues on the top and that means we have the, these. But do we have the bottom one? No. So all we need to do is just turn this until it's correct on all of them, which you really only need, if it's incorrect, you only need one turn um, to fix it because if you turn it one way, it goes the other way. If you turn it to the left, then it fixes it. But if it doesn't work to the left, then you should have just turned it to the right, then it fixes it. Fix it. But it doesn't matter because you can just turn it left two times or right two times, either way. Anyways, so now that we have that, I'm gonna work on the greens. So I wanna get green, and then I wanna get, instead of this yellow, yellow and blue, I wanna get green, green, and green. Now these side pieces don't matter, so ignore those. So what you have to do is, you only need six moves to get it all like this. So sometimes they're already there. So what you do is, um, it's always either one turn it's always one turn and then back. So what I do is, so I'm gonna start at this corner and then I'm gonna spin this and I'm gonna look for a green right here. There it is. So all I need to do, spin it that way and then turn it back. Now I have that there. Now I'm gonna look this corner. I have one right there. All I need to do, turn it that way, which I just got it out of that and spin it back. And then it's done. Now I need one more. I'm gonna turn it this way. So there's the green, I'm gonna turn it this way. There it is, the green's right there. So all I need to do, turn it that way, turn it back. Now this green does not matter. However, it did get correctly placed in there. So I'm going to keep going with the green side. And I'm going to tell you the next way to solve the Rubik's Cube. And what we need to do is we need to get these pieces just like how that got in there. Except sometimes it doesn't always go like that. And you also want to make sure that the bottom of the Rubik's Cube, like, so you got these pieces, but you also want to make sure the middle of the bottom is correct. Now, it's just like the middle of the end. You have everything else right on the top. It's just the bottom that you need to fix, and it's normally just one turn. Anyways, so all we need to do is look, so we, that's a green, red. So we're gonna spin this, and we're gonna look on these. So you wanna look corner to corner, and if it ever does green, red, that's our piece. So I'm gonna start spinning it around. There's a red right there. It's a blue, there's a green. Green, red, right there, all right. And there's the top. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna spin this around so that we can see it. Now, all I need to do is I need to get that green up there um, without messing this up. Now it's really easy. All you need to do is move the green away from it. It does not matter which way it is. I just like to move it this way. Now, if the green was right here, then all you have to do is bring this side down after you turn it, so like that. 
and then bring the green back over and then it just picks it up and brings it over here. Now sometimes the green is reversed to what it needs to be. So we just, all you have to do, turn the green down. Now it's over there, but if you turn it back up, it will just go back in the same spot. So we're just gonna spin that away. And now we can turn this part up and then we have that. And now all we need to do is just find that green yellow, spin it back over to where we need it to be. So now we just need to bring this green up to here. Um, so we're just gonna do the same process. So it's right there. We need to bring this side down to pick it up. So we're gonna move it out of the way. Bring that side down to bring it up, bring it over, bring it back up. And an easy way to think of it, over, down, over, up. You bring the green piece over, you bring the big piece down, you bring the green piece back over, then you pull it back up, over, down, over, up. Now what you need to fix is the top of it. Now sometimes it will be like this. Sometimes if you're lucky enough, it will be almost perfect and just have like all the blues all the yellows here, all the reds, except just like one turn off. But um, normally, right, normally it's not. Or sometimes it will be like red, red, green, green, or red, red, blue, blue. Um, and it will be the same all, or all around on the bottom. Now it always, now this method works for both ways, even if it's either one. All you need to do is just remember even if it gets a little bit mixed up, it will correct itself. So what you need to do is find this red blue and it's right there, red blue. So all you need to do, bring that over. Now eventually you'll get the hang of this where you don't even have to bring it over to know which side it's on. So you just need to bring it back over, bring that down, bring it back over pull it back up and then you have that red blue there. So now you have the red yellow there and the red yellow there. So the red's on this side this time. So you wanna bring it over, bring that side down, bring that side over, bring that side up, just like that. Now we have that fixed. And now we are just one turn away from solving the pyramix. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was super easy and simple because that's what I was trying to do. Um, I came up with this algorithm myself, and it's literally those four moves the entire way. And that's all you need to know. I've gotten, the, I've solved this within 15 seconds with my strategy um, or algorithm. And I hope you guys use this. And please subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Bye.